You know those hacks that come along one day and suddenly you realize your life was kind of empty before that? That's right, I'm talking about sex. That's right, I'm talking about friends. That's right, I'm talking about food. That's right, I'm talking about a way to test your stream without making a dummy account. Restream makes it possible to do this in their live studio as well as using third-party software like OBS. And here's how. The first way you can do this is by using Restream Monitor. This feature tracks your incoming and outgoing stream statistics and is available to users with both paid and free Restream accounts. First, you're going to create your account, select Add Channel, select your desired platforms, sign into those, and then make sure they are toggled off on your dashboard. Doing this will make sure you're only streaming to Restream as it's the default selection when all other options are switched off. So you won't be streaming to your end channel so your audience won't be notified when you actually go live. Then stream in the same way you plan to when you actually go live. If you're using external software, you'll need to use that for this test as well. Ditto if you're using Restream Studio. Then you'd use that for this streaming test. Then proceed to demo your stream in the same way you would if you were live. If you're showing off a product, demo that. If you're streaming a game, do that. If you want about five to 10 minutes of footage, that's what you do. You're now gonna analyze this data to make sure your stream is looking the way it should be when you're live. Do this by opening the navigation bar to the left of your home dashboard. Select monitor from the navigation menu. You'll then be taken to a tab with all of your past streaming sessions logged in there. Select the stream you just did, then select monitor incoming from the options running at the top side of the feed. From there, you'll be able to check if your incoming stream has a relatively stable bitrate. If you see dramatic changes in your incoming bitrate, it's most likely that your audience would be seeing lag. Ideally, your bitrate won't vary by more than 500 kilobits a second. Another thing to look at is at the bottom center of the screen under frame drop. If you're getting a lot of frame drop, you're streaming above the capacity of your upload speed. To fix that, try lowering your bitrate or upgrading your existing internet package if this is a repeated issue. If all looks good here, it's safe to turn your platform channels back on before going live. If you wanna see how your stream actually looks like to an audience member or to do a full stream test, you can use something called Restream Recordings. For this, you'll need a Restream paid plan that starts at $16 a month. You'll need to select a plan that covers the amount of time you usually stream, so six hours or up to 10 hours per stream. To use Restream Recordings, select Video Recordings from the left-hand navigation bar. From there, click on the Recording tabs. Find a video that you recorded as a demo, remembering to first toggle all platforms off to stay off-air before recording. Then click Play to watch the stream, checking for any visual glitches or artifacting or anything that you don't want in your stream. If you're having issues here, Restream do have round-the-clock support available, and if all is looking good, turn your channels back on and go live. Now, if you wanna check your stream visually, but you aren't able to take a paid option for the moment, you can also create a private event on either Facebook or YouTube. To do this on YouTube, create a brand new live event. Make sure to set the event to unlisted, then head back to your Restream dashboard, click on the gear icon besides your YouTube platform channel and select edit settings. From here, choose the event you just created and click save. To test your stream on Facebook, head over there and create a private group so that your audience can't see your stream. Now, head back to Restream and delete your current Facebook channel if it's already listed on the back end of Restream. We're going to add the new one in its place for the test. When you add Facebook back, make sure to select your new private group. Now that you have either or both YouTube and Facebook set to go up to test, go live and restream and check the stream on the end channels through a separate device, like on your phone or something, and see how they perform. So to sum it up, stop making dummy accounts, dummy. Elevate your testing experience using the hacks from this video and you won't go back, trust me. I, I mean, you might, I don't know, some people still stand on either side of the escalator, it just doesn't make any sense. People still buy non-GMO foods, like, like all of our foods ever aren't some kind of form of GMO already, and some people even still think that God of War 4 fairly won against Red Redemption 2 as Game of the Year in 2018. We know that's wrong. It doesn't make them smart though. Check out Restream's links below, they really help the channel, and check out my other Restream videos by clicking on the cards above me. Don't know which side, I'm so bad at this. My left and right, it's up here, and in the description. I might even put a comment. <laughs> you can't. I'm out of control.